okay i wired i wired up my newest addition to my snapper riding lawnmower family which is this one when i got that mower right there that mower i pay a hundred a hundred dollars for it and uh the guy was going to switch the engine out so he gave me this engine to go with the mower so i installed this engine i went and bought uh it, it, it was not wired up the starter so i had to jump start it with my jumper jump starter i no longer have to do that because i wired it up and he had gave me an old wiring harness that came out of a Kohler engine i kept the ignition switch and also kept the solenoid so i went and bought all new wires brand new uh battery 300 uh 275 code cranking out lawn and garden battery ever start for 34 dollars 275 code cranking amps from walmart it's 34 dollars plus 12 dollars because i didn't have a battery for the core charge i went and bought number 12 heavy gauge wire which is right there and when i get when my arm heals up y'all know i just had surgery when my arm heals up i'm going to install all these lights on both of my riding lawnmowers my tail lights my marker lights see here a bunch of stuff i do it professionally i'm a retired electrician so anyway i wired the lawnmower up and i bought brand new 12 gauge wire which is thick heavy gauge wire and i bought all these adapters these are connectors see here that connects two wires in one spot these little uh brown or little square uh wire connectors those are great that's for like 12 to 16 gauge wire it worked 12 to 14 gauge i think it worked perfect and they have all these uh connectors so let's go look at it i started back here i bought a brand new wire four four gauge wire really thick 19 inch uh, 24 inch cable from walmart for four dollars there's my starter i hooked the four gauge wire up to the, the to the bolt on the bottom of the starter easy peasy i run it down right here and there's a little metal connector clamp right there the harness clamp i put the wires inside of that and i ran it over here to my starter to my not my starter to my solenoid so the right side this is a four post solenoid the right boat on top is for your starter. The left boat on top is for the battery. Pause the post on the battery. Okay, the bottom left screw is for the starter uh, on the, uh, well, it's for the starter on the ignition. And so, <coughs> the, I already had this wire right here, this little red one, but it, let's go to the other side of the engine. I ran, I bought another 24 inch wire and it goes, let me see well you can't see it it's on this side over here but i use the same four gauge wire like i did on my starter for the negative side of the battery there's my positive uh, post it goes to the top of the solenoid on the left pause the uh, wire from the top of the battery pause the wire to the left top of your solenoid right top's your starter okay let me see if i can get it in focus or in view but right back there let me see if you can see it you see that wire that's number that's the negative post on the left side of my battery that goes that's your ground wire and i hooked it right underneath my seat hooked it right here see there right underneath my lawnmower seat there's a hole in the the uh, the metal for the seat the flat metal slab there's a hole on the side uh, i grounded the left post from my battery right there with the number four gauge cable from walmart they're only four dollars so keep that in mind they're cheap so i did save this one and i saved this switch from a wiring harness he had given me the guy I bought the lawnmower for, from for a hundred bucks i took the switch out of that wiring harness put it up here and also had the solenoid on that wiring harness and when you're <clears throat> you need four wires to get to go to your, your ignition see and I, I put all that on there too see those yellow uh, end connectors for number 12 make sure you get it when you buy the end connectors like that those are in, insulated connectors that way none of the wires will touch together and cause a spark so on the bottom of your ignition switch it has let's see that switch right there with the key in it on the very bottom under here the switch right there on the bottom of that switch it has numbers it has letters it has letters on the very bottom right there 
where I have the connectors hooked. It has letters in one, M for magneta, S for starter, B for battery, has L for lights, and that's, but I didn't use the lights. Sorry about the women's lights, mine broke. The L's for the lights, I did not use that one. On the bottom of that switch, it has letters, and each one tells you what wire, where, where it goes. One is M for magneta, and what is the magneta? The magneta wire, M, is right here. So that's where that one hooks, the M wire from the bottom of the key switch. That goes to the coil. And that magneto wire, see where I, can, I hooked it right there? I connected it with uh, tape and a connector. That wire goes to the bottom of the switch. And what I would like to say, my friends, it's easy. I pull the wire, 12 gauge wire is, is thick. So I was able to pull that wire all the way See this tube that runs above my, uh, below my seat? This bar, that hollow bar, hollow tube rather. I pulled all four wires. Let me get it in focus. I pulled all four wires through that little hole right there. There's a hole inside that bar. 12, it's 12 gauge, so it's thick wire, it's stiff. You can ease, very easily push that wire all the way through this uh, hollow tube. And the wires come out back here. You can, hold on one second. Okay, now I turned the light on on my iPhone. See where the wires come out of the back of that tube? Let me get the camera, uh, phone down there, bear with me. Well, you can see it right over there. Let me move my finger. Or see the shadow, see that? That's the hollow tube. See that opening right there? You can see the opening right there. The four wires comes out of there. Okay, the one that says S on the bottom of the switch goes to the, bottom left of your four pole solenoid okay the one that says m on the bottom of the ignition switch goes to your magnet which goes to your coil so when you're turning the switch off up here when you're turning it off the ground wire and m wire actually connects inside this switch which ground which turns the when you turn the key to off that's what turns the lawnmower off because the magnet and the ground wire connects inside there when you turn it all the way off and it dead it shortens the the engine, the motor, which cuts the engine off. Hope that helps somebody. M for magneta, S for starter. And then you have one for the, uh, like I said, it's four wires. Then you have one wire that comes over here and this is your ground wire. Now the ground wire was already in there because it was, a, they had a kill switch up there. So that's the only wire I left in there. So I only ran three wires. See, there's my ground wire and I ground it right here on the engine, G. -G. On the bottom of the switch, you'll have a G right here. On the very bottom, underneath here, on that switch, it says the letters. G is for your ground. And when you pull it through this tube back here, where that opening is, right there, you can ground that wire anywhere. I'll put it on the engine. So it's easy peasy. It's so easy a caveman could do it. I hope that helps somebody. Uh, so I do hope that helps somebody. These are women's reading glasses. Like I said, if mine got broken, uh, my arm, I had to have a ma major surgery on my bicep. I tore it moving the washer, as y'all saw in my other video. I, this happened about seven weeks ago. Yesterday I had surgery. They had to put a screw in there and staple and uh, stitches to uh, reattach my bicep tendon to the bone. It was almost com torn completely off. So I'm out of commission. I hope I did get on this lawnmower considering one day after surgery. I can't use my arm, arm it's really swollen up, but it's easy. That's how, how I wired my riding lawn mower, mower up. And this is, this lawn mower only paid a hundred dollars for it. Uh, so that's how you do it. Take your time, do it right. And all of this stuff was very, very cheap. I bought the wire. So like I said, on that switch, all you need is four wires, your ground, your magnet wire, your starter wire and your battery wire. That's it. Four wires through that hollow tube. That does it. For this 12 gauge wire, 50 feet at uh, Lowe's, it was $22 for 50 feet. I only ended up probably using maybe a total of 18 feet. But if you're going to do it, do it right. I'm a retired electrician. Do it right, make it look neat. And as, and as you can see on my lawnmower, I did it. If you're going to do it, like I said, make sure to do a neat job. See, I put that 
brand new wire back to my starter. It goes up behind my, uh, on the back side of my starter, comes down the bottom of the side of the left engine, and over to my cylinder. Everything's neat, easy peasy. Ran all the wire through this tube, the full wires, up to my switch, put the insulated uh, connectors on there, cut the wire, you know, with the uh, wire strippers, put the insulated connectors on there, and let's see if it'll start. I've got one arm, so let me, well, with, I can't use my right arm. So this is going to be a challenge. Hold on. It's in the sling. See if it'll start. Y'all ready? First crank up, it smoked. This engine's always did that, but it does not use oil. I've already ran it a lot. I've already ran this uh, and driven this a lot. Y'all seen me and my son on it. Runs like new. Let's see if I can turn it off with my right hand. I ain't got much use of my fingers at all. So I'm going to have to turn it off with my left hand. Bear with me. Which works perfect. One thing I've got to mention is the alternator wire. Right here is the alternator wire. See that right there with that little red piece? There's the alternator wire with the red, little red piece. It comes out and underneath the flywheel. But you're supposed to have two wires. That one goes to your battery to charge the battery. But you're supposed to have one more wire for the lights to run your lights if you want to run AC. But what I was going to say is you're supposed to have a little small voltage regulator. It's a little square box. It does not have one. So that's why I have not hooked up my alternator. And on the end of this wire, let me use my hurt arm to show you this with my finger. On the underneath this wire right here, where my right finger is, bear with me, my hands hurt, my right arm. See this wire right here? It comes out underneath the flywheel. See that little budge in that wire, that fat part? That's the diode. That diode keeps Boats from flowing from your battery back into the auto to, to the uh, alternator. It keeps current going one way. See that little budge right there? There's your red end, and then you got that little fat part. That's the diode. You can hook a wire up from there. Should be a little voltage regulator right here, and a wire come out of that voltage regulator over to your battery. So I have not hooked it up, but it should have two wires coming out and the flywheel. So I will deal with that, with that later. Hope that helps you. I cannot use my right arm, so I dropped my phone. Uh, I could barely hold my, what I've done is I wedged the phone between my thumb and my fingers on my left hand, and that's how I was able to barely hold my phone while I turned the switch off. I love everybody. That's how you wire your lawnmower up. I'm staying busy. I can't use my right arm. It's gotta be in this sling metal brace for like two months. Thanks for watching my video. That's how I wired up my new snapper lawnmower. Just four wires. Four, one goes to the magnetic, one goes to the starter, one goes to the battery, and one goes to the drown. Have a wonderful night. Please like, comment, subscribe as always. Be happy, positive, and focus. Keep me in your prayers. They had to put a screw in stitches, in stitches to hold my bicep tendon to the bone. Love everybody. Be happy, positive, and focus. Stay away from negative people. Try to do the right thing, and I will see you all on down the road. God bless you. Have a wonderful night. Big O's out. If you're going to do it, do it right or don't do it at all.